Hello everyone and welcome to my first RPG tutorial series. Well, the first episode of my RPG tutorial series. And um right off the back, let's just get started. Um we'll be making this RPG system from the ground up. And if you thought my platform series is a bit confusing, um worry no longer it will not be. If you had not cut my update uh video on my channel, um from now on I will be focusing on only tutorials and uh, animations if you don't care about that stuff then never mind but I just figured I'd tell you first off start a new frame then pick the size of the frame you want right now we're just gonna start with building a town and um, let's just see how this works and let's uh yeah keep that centered if you want you can zoom out like uh, over here uh, you get all sorts of zoom out options in uh, multimedia fusion 2.5 well I will be using multimedia fusion 2.5 um most of the items and stuff I'll be using will not be any different than uh what you can get with multimedia fusion uh, 2 Although, um, you know, what's the media fusion 2.5 does get a lot of bugs out that, uh, some people came into in the first game, uh, multimedia fusion 2. Anyway, uh, sorry, I've been talking so much. Grid setup. Let's get that started with. Um, the size of our grid. I guess we could keep it 32 by 32. Um, snap to grid, show grid, and... I like to use the grid for setting up tiles for levels. Mm, I kind of want to make it bigger, but at the same time, let's just work with what we have for now. What you're want, going to want to put in is a backdrop object, which should already be 32 by 32. Yep. Zoom in a lot. And we're just going to start with grass. Yeah, so I'm going to be using a mix of uh, tutorials I learned. Um, every game designer learns how to make games from another game designer. Obviously, that's how trades are learned. And um, I learned my skills on YouTube from uh, one uh, tutorial maker named uh, Tristan Begin. I'll leave a link for his tutorial series. And... Uh, another um, tutorial series by One Man Army Games um, I'll give you a link to him as well the reason I'm giving you the links to these people are because like I got most of um, everything I know from them so this RPG series will be a mix of what I like from their tutorials and see snap to grid that uh, just snaps anywhere I learned this not from Tristan Begin, but um, from One Man Army Games. So I'll be doing a mix of uh, lots of their uh, tutorials. I hope this is enough. I don't feel like counting all those squares. Nope. Well. Yeah, when you duplicate an object, I think it's okay to copy paste. So sorry about that. That was uh that work took a while, but um I went ahead and just did uh the rest of the level. Now I know what you're thinking, why'd you go ahead without us? Oh my gosh, I'm so lost. Just kidding. Um, this dirt road is another backdrop. You did the same exact thing with the grass. I made the grass a bit lighter. I make it a bit lighter again. Give it that more lively look. Oop, is that what I want? 
Let's just test it out. Oh wow, that's great. Now that's the color I already have. So let's just bring it down a notch. That's a huge difference, but okay. And this is my house. It might be a store. I haven't decided yet. I think it can make for a better store than a house. And I haven't designed any other houses. But uh, that's just the basics of uh, making the outside of your, uh, you know, game. You know, with the grid and placements and the rocks. By the way, I get to figure out how to, um, you know, I, I just didn't have the enemy to draw the house again. So, um, I got it from this other, uh, earlier game project I tried to do. Which is basically the same thing I tried to do here, but, uh, I don't know. I was in a different idea set when I made that project. Um... So basically, that's how you start out with the uh, scenery. You know, active object and whatnot. Or did I? Yeah, this was an active object. I cropped it. Well, not perfectly. Um, let's just fix that. I didn't do this back when uh, I made this. You're going to want to keep the door part uh, separate and see the house uh, snaps on too yeah so keep the door separate so that your character can go uh, through the doors so that they can enter a building and um thanks for watching next tutorial I'll be showing you um um I guess I'll be showing you how, uh, about how to import your characters and whatnot Okay, well, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe for more.